housing parked in a parking lot on the other side of Portland Street. And it's all, you know, there's pushing and shoving going on, there's screaming and yelling by both males and females. Um, there's just, uh, um, at, at that time, you know, I knew we, we got to get more cars here because this is, this is going to be turned into a mess very quickly. The club closed, the lights come on, and everybody's coming out, right? Everybody is, you know, there's pushing, there's shoving, there's people, you know, you know and one girl was knocked down by a, by a shove, I had to help her up. Um, you know, it's just, it's kind of, it's chaotic is what it is. The situation is escalating. There's fights here, there's fights here, there's fights here. And at this time, there's not enough police to break up the flights, to do what we need to do. There's several uh, fights going on on Haywood Street, between uh, Portland and Somerset, I believe, on the other side. In the parking lot, there's several fights going on. And I say, Sarge, there's four guys over there. They got thrown out earlier here in the night. They're talking trash. They're talking about shooting somebody. They're hanging out there. They keep going back and forth, like putting something down, picking something up. There's a gun over there, I know there is, you know. And we said, okay, yeah, that's, you know, he identified by looking at him who he was. I concurred with him who he was. And um, at that time, another disturbance broke out in the parking lot, major disturbance, 25, 30 people going out. As I was walking to the opening in the parking lot to get through there, all right, I'm standing, I'm at the threshold about to win the parking lot. At that time, Sergeant Desitel goes running behind my back. He's got a gun, that guy, 